Hey there. A few quick updates on my YouTube channel. I've been pretty busy posting new videos. I have been working on a vlog series that I'm very excited about. It comes from me just doing a lot of solo traveling as part of my job as a wedding photographer. I'm also getting into my wedding season, so I'm trying to do some content now so that I have it ready to go for later. It's a very noisy apartment complex. So I had a cool opportunity to get to try out the Nakalux 1.2. I fully committed to using this lens the entire wedding day. That is eight hours of shooting exclusively using the Leica Nakalux 50mm 1.2 on of course my Leica M11. I really committed to using this lens just so I had a really good understanding of what to report using this remarkable tool. This is the reissue from 2021. Really slick lens, almost brand new. I'm gonna break down exactly what I liked and what I didn't like and how it compared to my tried and true Sumalux 50mm 1.4. I did wear red lipstick for this video. The Nakalux system, of course, very well known and revered in the Leica lineup. They only make lenses for the Leica M system. The tried and true model, of course, is the Nakalux 50mm 0.95. Actually, when I got the opportunity to use this lens, I thought it was the 0.95 and almost couldn't believe it until the next morning I realized it was 1.2 and they made two different versions of it. First and foremost, uh, the package itself, it came in the coolest little, it looks like a little test tube that they grew, that they grew a, a very fancy little Leica lens in. Look and feel of this lens, it's a little bit heavier compared to the Sumalux right off the bat, uh, obviously a bit wider thicker tool that we're working with here. I will say this lens feels a little more substantial than the Sumalux lens. Mm -hmm. It glides pretty well. The, the focusing ring was really smooth to use. Just felt like an amazing tool. I didn't notice a huge difference in the weight of the lens. It didn't bother me when I was shooting. My wrist didn't hurt at the end of the day. As far as focusing this lens, you know, I am still using my live view quite a bit on a wedding day. This lens, yeah, I mean, it's just super smooth when you go in to get what you need. Good as gold. I mean, there are literally no complaints about how this lens functions. This was my very first time using a Noclux lens. I, of course, see what the hype is about. There is a definite elegance to this lens. It's a good lens. I'm using Leica on a wedding day for about 70% of my day. Definitely using it during getting ready moments. I'm using it during the first look. I'm using it during uh, portraits with the wedding party. I'm using it during the ceremony. I'm using it for excellent sunset portraits, detail shots, pretty much all the things I'm using this camera for, especially upgrading to the M11. I feel comfortable really shooting all moments of the day because the sensor keeps up so well with what I'm um, working with on a wedding day, which are quick moving moments that I do not get back. <laughs> The Leica M11 is perfect and has always been able to keep up. So I was really using this lens for a lot of different environments and settings throughout the day. I had one room that was really, really dark, another room that was even darker. Super sunny day in Balboa Park, so I got to use it in direct sunlight, and then the rest of the day was in an indoor venue, so I got to really push its low light capabilities I use this lens at 1.2 the majority of the day. I also played with this lens at all the way up to f16, seeing kind of what range you could get with the sun. My favorite thing about the Sumalux is the amount of character that it has in the images it produces, especially when it comes to using sun. This lens does the most amazing things with rainbow flares, uh, lens flare. The images are just so beautiful. They're a little hard to replicate. It's why it's been my favorite lens um, since I got this in my bag. While the Nokalux is an exceptional tool, I didn't get one cool sun flare 
the entire day that I used the lens. I got nothing cool in the reception light. I got nothing cool in any kind of direct sun. Even the night before when I was scouting, I was playing with really high beams of sun, low beams of sun. I couldn't find a sun flare at all. I actually, before I set up this video, I went out in my courtyard here to try to play with the sun, like maybe thinking that I had done something wrong. Maybe I didn't put it on 1.2. The knock looks giving a very sharp image, very nice muted way of telling the story of the sun. If that's what you're looking for in your photos is no sun flare, then this could be like your dream lens because there is minimal sun flare. Taking a look at the Sumalux images from what I just took moments ago, as you can see, the rainbow flares that I know and love, they have so much life to them. They have so much, even like hope if you want to get really weird about it. I always get really excited about what I can play with, with my couples and putting them into these wonderful flares. So that is kind of all of it. I have returned my 50 millimeter. Sumalux 1.4 happily where it belongs on my Leica M11. Drop in a lot of Leica names, don't mean to. Just trying to be very specific. I am very excited to keep using this lens for the interim, for whatever else comes next. It is still my favorite go-to lens when compared to the Knock Lux. It is really no contest for, for this girl. Uh, stellar lens. These go on, right? Okay. Stellar lens, really cool little case. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to put this away to return it. I hope this was helpful to you. I would not be purchasing the Knockbox 1.2. I don't know why they would really make this lens, but they did and I got to try it and I got to share this video with you. So thanks so much for watching. I have a few other videos about my M240. I have a video about using the M11 for wedding photography as well as using the Q2 for wedding photography. I'm working on a few new videos, new things. They're coming, I'm working on it. Um, thanks as always for subscribing and seeing what I'm up to here. Appreciate you so much. That's what I got. Ugh.